This tutorial was inspired by Bo Burnham's video, which is called something like playing the piano in order to get laid. And of course, I do not want to deprive you from this possibility. So I will be teaching one of his lessons in that video called Arpeggio. Arpeggio is basically that... Um, the notes of a chord played one after another. Or basically you just play like a harp. It seems quite impressive, so it's one of the first things you want to learn when you're getting a bit more advanced in piano playing. There are actually quite some pieces that need arpeggio. Normally arpeggio is just put down like a, some kind of scribble next to a chord. For example, you would have a C major chord. And next to that major chord there's a scribble saying that you have to play it like a harp. And basically you can do the same thing with more than just those three notes. When you use multiple notes for this. And you get this more more brilliant sound. You have more tones in it, and yeah, you can yeah be a bit more impressive in playing. So the first thing you should start with is, of course, like I said in my first lesson, relax. The relaxation is really important because without the relaxation, you will have this really harsh harsh sound, and it's it will be really difficult for you to play arpeggio properly. The second thing you have to learn is about rotation. When you use rotation. You just keep your elbow in the same position and then you twist your wrist like this. This technique is used a lot and it will, will give you a more fluid way of playing and it's way more easier to play faster things and play things more legato or more bound together when you learn to use rotation. So I'll be zooming in now on the piano a bit more so you can see what I mean by rotation and why it's so important when using or while playing arpeggio. So it's not really important where you play. You just choose a certain chord like C major, like this, the C, the E and the G. And you see a lot of starters at piano playing, you see them play like this when they do arpeggio. But then you don't really get the fluent sound when you want to play a, or want to produce a beautiful arpeggio sound. You have to use what I told you, rotation of the wrist. So you start your rotation at the thumb, you move it a bit to the thumb. And then when you go along the chord, you just keep over, you just flip over your hand a bit. It's really important that you get this, this fluent feeling, it's almost as if your hand forms a wave. And you can basically also use your elbow, you can't really see my elbow here, but um, you can use your whole upper arm to move like this, but it's really important to use the rotation too. So basically you're not playing the arpeggio with your fingers, you're not playing it like this. You're playing it with your whole arm. And you should be um, conscious of the fact that your wrist should also rotate. Which is really important when you play arpeggio over much larger distances on the piano. So now we're zoomed out again so I can show you a bit better how you should play an arpeggio which uses the whole piano instead of only those three notes. So of course you just repeat those three notes over and over again when you play a large arpeggio. And as you can see, I'm not playing this with my fingers only. Because then you don't really get the sound of the harps. Um, and it doesn't really sound that brilliant too. So it's really important that you use the rotation. You, you, you should produce a kind of wave in your arms. I mean, you can, without touching the piano, you can create that wave. And it's always important that you keep your arms relaxed and your shoulders relaxed so you can quickly... get to the other spot of the piano and back again. It's really important for arpeggio that you know where every note is that you have to play. So it's basically, you have to know, of course, where the C major chord is, but as soon as you think about the C major chord, you have, to, you have to be able to visualize it in your head, but also have to visualize where the other notes are. In order to prevent any stiffness, it's of course important that you stay relaxed, and it's easier to stay relaxed when you practice slowly. So do not start straight away trying to play it as fast as possible, because at once it will sound wobbly, and you will get some kind of stiffness in your shoulders, which is... Um, terrible to get out of your system when you eventually learn that stiffness, so please practice this slowly. So when you start out, of course, 
you should concentrate on your shoulders that they have to be relaxed. Then concentrate on the rotation of your wrists and your arm movement. Create a wave with your arms and try to do this as slowly as possible so you get conscious about the movement. So those are basically the most important things you have to know. First, relax. Practice it slowly. Be certain that you use rotation of your wrists and be certain that your, um, your arms, your shoulders and your elbows create some kind of waveform that gives you the most relaxed way of playing. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you subscribe or like or anything and maybe request a new technique and then I'll be seeing you soon, hopefully. Bye!